What's good? What's good, guys? You know what I mean? Back again, man. For all my people that's on Instagram and TikTok, don't forget it, that follow button. All my people on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, G. Be watching a lot of preseason games and stuff like that, checking out the rookies and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, my Eagles. But I've been watching closely the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback battle between Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. You know what I mean? And he had a uh, mediocre uh, performance in his uh, preseason uh, pre debut. You know what I mean? A lot of people kind of writing off Justin um, Justin Fields. You know what I mean? But my, my old uh, perspective of this situation is that I feel like I'm a Russell Wilson guy. So, you know what I'm saying? So, and Justin Fields, I feel like he ha he has to uh develop a little bit more you know what i mean and i feel like sitting behind russell wilson will be a good thing and, and I, like i say it's a, it could be a win-win for the whole organization and for russell and justin field for him to sit behind him because you can't go justin field and go russell you got to go russell then at russell messing up then go justin field this allow him to get implemented to the uh the offense and learning things a little bit closer learning how a vet do things of that nature. But I, I didn't understand why so many people was bashing Russell like that. I didn't understand it, man. It's just, just delightful. Anytime you a nice guy, anytime you a good guy, it seems like they bash you a lot. LeBron, bashing, bashing, bashing. Man, the one like four, four championships, all type of MVPs and gold medals. It's still a lot of bashing. This man, Russell, didn't won a Super Bowl, been to two Super Bowls. One, one could have won the other one against... First of all, he won against what Peyton Manning. He was going to win another one against Tom Brady. I mean, they don't give him no respect, no love, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it's it's ridiculous to me, man. It's real ridiculous. I just feel like, dang. And then even when it was the Pittsburgh thing, I'm like, dang, they're just going Justin Field, Justin Field, Justin Field. They didn't even give Russell Wilson an opportunity, a chance, or nothing. Just everybody in the media was just bashing, bro. And I was just like, dang, I be like, every time I'm watching any show, I'm just like, whoa, bro, like, why he can't get an opportunity? It's like the same thing when I was watching the Cam Newton thing when he was in New England. It's like, I don't know what it is about black quarterbacks. They just, once they reach a, uh, a point of success, like MVPs or going to the Super Bowl, it's like they don't want you to ever go there again. They don't want you to ever to see, succeed again. They just want you, like, just think about this, right? Lamar Jackson, right? Well, he was looking for a new contract and stuff like that. No team would pick him up. Lamar Jackson, MVP, two MVPs. That's ridiculous. I'm talking about the New England Patriots. He was trying to go there. They declined him for Matt Jones. Are you serious, man? Lamar Jackson, Matt Jones. They chose Matt Jones over Lamar Jackson. Man... I don't be understanding what in the world be going on when you are black. I know being a black quarterback is probably one of the most <laughs> dysfunctional things, man. Because they see Patrick Mahomes, right, a dual threat quarterback, and I don't even know why they don't call him it because Pat will get you with his legs and the heartbeat, and he'll get you with his arms. He can do it all. He's the dual threat to me too. You know what I mean? He don't just sit in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you think that that boy be gone on you? <laughs> Pat fast too, boy. You know what I'm saying? So no, nah, man. I just don't. I don't understand it, man. With the Russell Wilson situation, man. How, why they, why they treat him so bad, man? It's like, damn. Can you imagine going to a team and people just doing that all in their media, the Steelers media and everybody media? They bashing them. It's like, bro. I'm not even giving the opportunity to perform with, cause everybody bashing me. <laughs> I mean, Justin Fields has never won a Super Bowl, never even been in the playoffs to that extent to even compare him to Russell, right? So it's like, why do they do stuff like that? I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't know why every show that does sports is bashing them. There's only one show they don't bash them, and that's the one with LaShawn McCord. <laughs> that was it. That's the only show I've seen that didn't bash Russell. You know that's the only show. Every other show, they bashing them, bashing them, talking bad about them, bashing them, bashing them, bashing them. And it's like, dang, oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah, he this and that. It's like, dang, bro, like, what y'all want him to be the villain and say mean and crazy stuff? Like, what, what you want the guy to do? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that. It's just unfair how they treat him, man. It's, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. I know for getting what Slim Thug was calling him corny and all of that, like, Ciara picked him over future and all this. I'm like, dang, bro, like, how the world be so dark like this, G? <laughs> it's, like, it's like the more evil you are, the more accepted you are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why well, I can't be 
a positive life. You know what I'm saying? A positive person. Why I gotta be a dark individual or play some type of street character to be accepted in the community? It's ridiculous as heck, man. But I, I don't feel like I don't feel like Justin. Uh, I don't feel like uh, Russell Wilson got a fair shake at anything. I feel like they just kind of like threw a blanket on him and just said, "Come on out here, uh, come on out here, Justin Fields." You did what I'm saying? I feel like they kind of like just really bashed him. They bashed him a lot, bro. It's it's really ridiculous, man. You know what I mean? I was one of them guys that said, "Man, Russell need to go to the Steelers. Go to the Steelers. That's the team." I kept saying that. Then. He go to the Steelers and then it's just so much bad blood all over the place. Not with the players and coaches, but just the media team that be out there. The media team. It was the same thing in, in, in Boston with Cam Newton. That was, it was so bad, bro. Like, it was awful, man. It was awful, G. And look at Matt Jones now, the backup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cut, gone, backup. What do you got? Traded for a six-round pick or something crazy like that. Come on, man. The Trevor Lawrence, bro, the same, the same person you came up to draft with. That's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, man. But, man, I got to be hard. I don't know, man. Being a black quarterback in the NFL, that's to be hard, bro. <laughs> the way they treat black quarterbacks in the NFL, it ain't even half a right. Straight up, man. They give you that one, about three seasons of you so great, this and that. And after that, it's like, oh man, he ain't good. He just and that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, dang it, bro. Somebody like Russell that has won Super Bowls and been in championships and playoff games. It's just like, look at how they treat Aaron Rodgers compared to Russell. <laughs> He's like, bro, where the world? I don't even think Aaron went to another Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? I think Russell went to two. Right? So I'm like, bro, how they do, how they praise Aaron and down Russell? That's the part I don't get. You know what I'm saying? It's like they put him in the top ranking, and he only played, what, a couple of plays in one game, and he in the top ranking the quarterback. <laughs> I'm telling you, being a black quarterback in the NFL is Tetris, man. Because how in the heck Aaron Rodgers getting all this praise and all this love? And Russell went to two Super Bowls. This, I think this man only went to one Super Bowl in his whole career. Ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, bro. I don't even know what to say about it, man. I just feel like, dang, bro, like, him going to the Steelers, I thought was a good idea. Now I look back on it now, I'm just like, dang, bro, the way they bashing them, they putting so much negative energy out there, the, the media team and all of that. I'm like, dang, let them compete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then when they compete, they be like, oh, yeah, bro, he played better. But y'all ain't even letting the man compete. You already putting the other guy in there. I'm like, my dude. That's like me saying, like, the, the Times Crawford and the uh, Arrow Spence fight. And I'm just like, no, nah, Arrow going to win. And it's, it's Arrow. And they never even put the gloves on yet. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, no, bro. You got to let them go. And then when they go in the box and win, Times Crawford whoop them down. It's like, oh, dang. Like, come on, man, with all these crazy predictions or just putting somebody in a position that's fumbling balls and stuff like that. And like I said, that can happen to anybody. But at the end of the day, bro, we can't just crown somebody the king without actually seeing them. <laughs> we didn't even see Russell in the preseason yet. So how do y'all do that already? So I don't know, man. I just don't like the way they're treating them, bro. They treat them so bad, bro, for him to be a polished uh, black quarterback and for them to treat him so bad like that like he's some type of 